I'm Bumpora Victoria, and this is George. Today, we are going to talk about resident fatigue. While the more severe forms of this particular condition can proceed to what is commonly referred to as burnout, we will be discussing the more minor versions that do not require counseling in the way of alleviation nor vacations. Do you have a resident in your life who is looking stressed out? Maybe they are a surgical resident on floors or an internal medicine resident on call. Perhaps they are a family medicine resident tossed into the ICU. I have found an effective modality to keep my co-resident spirits up. What's that? Why, it's muffins, of course! Today, we will be making a nutritious and rich fluffy morsel that has been found anecdotally to be a very effective prophylactic for resident fatigue and stress. While it won't get you any extra hours of sleep at night, it can make the waking hours just a little more comforting and delicious. These nutrient-rich coconut and orange muffins are sure to delight any resident who encounters them. If you have allergies or sensitivities, these muffins are likely not for you since there's a little bit of everything in them. As residents, we don't have time to be bothered by such things and really are too tired to look closely at ingredient lists anyways. We will start by combining our liquid ingredients. Since I thoroughly despise dishes, but for you dear viewers, I will make an exception. We will be combining our ingredients in a blender. I find this cuts down on the number of dishes I have to do. Of course, we have three bananas bought with the food stipend at the local cafeteria at my hospital. To this, I will add a quarter of a cup of oil. I have avocado oil here, and I'll add a quarter of a cup of milk. Again, from the cafeteria. To this, I'll add two eggs brought in by the nurse to the emergency room to share. While the blue ones are my favorite, I ate those already. You know you are in a cozy hospital when there are farm fresh eggs in the emergency room. I'll grate in the rind of one orange. It sure tickles my fancy. While I prefer the blender technique to cut down on dishes, I also find it gets all the banana lumps out. I'm not a big fan of banana chunks in my baking. As well, after my liquid ingredients are combined, I like to add in my nuts to the blender so that I have less work to do. Walnuts are my choice for a great source of omega-3s. I have about a cup here. Now, for my dry ingredients, I'll incorporate one cup of rolled oats. Rolled oats seem to incorporate better into the batter, but if ever you want to encourage a patient to eat oatmeal as a source of fiber, rolled or steel cut oats are the better option. The instant packets are pretty much pure sugar and don't help with a glycemic control. Once in a while for a camping trip is great, but I would recommend passing on them most days. Next, one and a half cups of flour. You could do white or whole wheat. I have a combination of whole spelt flour and white wheat flour here. Next, I'll add half a cup of sugar. Then two teaspoons of baking powder. 
then one teaspoon of baking soda. And then one half teaspoon of salt. To this, I'll incorporate about a third of a cup of hemp hearts. Again, I love me some omega-3s. And a third of a cup of shredded unsweetened coconut. There goes the hemp hearts and the coconut. Then we'll combine our dry and liquid ingredients. I just want to loosely combine my wet and dry ingredients. Next, I'm ready to dollop these into the pans. And George, I think you've got the muffin tins ready for me, don't you? He did a great job putting the papers in. Now I'll go ahead and divvy that batter up. Now that I've divvied up my batter, I'll put these in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. But I might check them if I were you around 15 minutes. Every oven's just a little bit different. And voila! Thank you for joining me today, my healthcare team. I hope you enjoyed making these fluffy morsels with me today. I sure am glad that George saw me getting a little tuckered out and thought I could use a pick-me-up. Of course, the best part of muffins is sharing. I hope you'll think of a co-resident or friend near you who could use a muffin too. I'll hope you join us next time. Bye-bye. Better give it a try, George. Mmm, fabulous. I'm so glad you like the orange rind in there, George.